Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be making a piece that's inspired by the very talented Scrap Rich Lisa or Lisa Oxley and it's making a really simple rainbow background. So you can see I've actually sort of planned this out and I've gone through my Dina Wakely paints any acrylic paints will do and I've chosen a rainbow of colors now I know I've forgotten orange and put pink in instead but you know be creative do what you want the first thing I am doing though is putting down a layer of gesso and it's not something I do very often in my art journal pages but it is something that Lisa does quite regularly in her journals and it makes all the difference to her pieces and it also um, boosts the color of the rainbow because the dilutions paper that I'm working on does actually have a slightly buff tone a yellow tone to it so by putting the um, gesso over it you get this beautiful white surface to work against and have that contrast of color so what I'm doing is putting out a little bit of paint um, it really isn't all that much and just using a paintbrush to sort of spread it out it's kind of mixing together and you noticed I drew dried off the layers before just to get sort of the true colors over the top it you probably don't want a really liney rainbow um, so you do want them to sort of overlap a little bit but you are going to be covering it up as well so don't panic if it's not perfect um, we're just sort of putting some color in the background so I'm just going through layering up the colors now I'm doing it with a rainbow um, and again if you have a look at Lisa Oxy's work and I'll leave a link to her fabulous pages um, in the description box below she uses a lot of rainbow colors in her artwork too I think that's why I just every time I see her pages they make me smile you could do this with any colors it doesn't have to be a rainbow it could just be sort of monochromatic colors it will all work the same as long as you're using acrylic paint and it is dry by the time you do the end um, result with the stencil so you can see I'm drying off the layers making sure they are um, completely dry acrylic paint when it is dry is permanent so it's not going to rub off when I do the next technique now the only thing I am going back and doing and again this is something that um, Lisa does a lot in her work she sort of blends everything in with white gesso and because I don't use gesso very often um, I kind of forget the magic properties that it has and how it sort of ties everything together so it's um, a really great thing to have in your arsenal and if you don't have white gesso white paint does do the same um, it might be a little bit thicker you might need to water it down slightly but it does do the same now you notice I dried that off again and now I am probably doing something you're screaming at the screen going why are you just covering up your rainbow with black that's just silly um, one <laughs> it's not black it's Payne's grey so it's slightly softer in black and two it's because I'm doing this I've got a technique I've got um, wet baby wipe and I'm just rubbing away the excess paint so you've got that beautiful sort of um, black border but you've got those rainbow colors peeping through so this is um, a style called redactive painting or um, redactive stenciling where you sort of block it out and then wipe out wipe away and you can see from this how that rainbow peeps through to blend in the edges again I'm just going back with the white paint and sort of blending it in the brush I'm using is fairly dry so you're sort of getting that beautiful black dry brush effect over the top so once I'd done that um, my piece was fairly complete that this was the the main bit that I wanted to do I decided to use one of my focal images and these are some new um, cardboard collage cutouts from uh, an Australian company called Scrap FX and again I'll have the link to their um, wholesale and retail outlets below um, and these are designed by another very talented Australian artist called Michelle Logan and she does an amazing job they're very sort of loose weird sketchy figurey type people um, on beautiful collage backgrounds and again they've got beautiful bright colors in the background so they're sort of all tied in together and I was playing around because I love them so much I like putting them in little groups um, and I really liked that arrangement but it was it was taken away from my background so I actually deliberately left this simple for a change which is very unlike me um, but um, yeah I really loved how it came up in the end now while this is going up in the future and I hope everything's settled down by now I really really do but at the moment we're at the very beginning of the corona 19 virus everything's sort of starting to shut down and 
people not knowing what's going on. So um, a lot of my art journaling in the last few days has been about that and about sort of my rising anxiety and telling myself it's okay and, you know, talking myself through it. And I really, really hope that um, by the time this video goes up, it is all okay and everyone's okay and we're, we're, we're going on and doing what we need to do. But um, yeah, at the moment, it, it's, a, it's a fear of the unknown, I think. So this is what this page is all about basically and so I've got my little angel wings on this figure I'm using some gold um, texture paste to do this now while I really love this probably using paint would have been more sensible because as you can see my wing went across the um, bind of the book or the spine of the book and my book is very very chunky at the moment so I couldn't get it nice and clear so I'm using my um, craft knife to try and move the texture paste around so it's sort of sitting where it needs to be and I will um, dry that off in between now again you're probably best to leave texture paste to dry overnight I'm really really impatient um, I did actually manage to get this to bubble because I was holding my heat gun too close to it so probably hold it a little bit further away would be a good idea I'm just using some glue to glue down the figure in between the um, wings so I really loved the just the pop of metallic gold on this page it sort of really tied everything together and it also tied into the figure because it had those sort of orangey tones in it um, I'm now going with a paint pen and just putting in some color in the eyes and for those people who followed my channel for a while you know that most figures I have I like to make a focal point of the eyes the little um, saying there says, do yourself stay strong. So as soon as I saw that, I thought, yep, that I have to use that because that's what I'm telling myself at the moment. So um, I put in some heart washi because, again, it's an abstract figure and that's what I do to my abstract figures apparently. I love that heart washi. It goes on everything. When I finished, I really liked it. I'm just going through and doing some really sketchy lines over the top again just to boost the black on it. And it's funny because from um, where this video is shot, that face for those Lord of the Rings fans out there looks very Gollum-like. <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to put a crown on it because everything feels better when you've got a crown on your head. So I'm just using another um, chipboard piece from ScrapFX to um, put the crown on the head. And instead of using gold paint, I cheated because I was in a hurry this night and decided just to use my gold wax to rub over the top and the great thing about this wax is once it's dry it doesn't rub on anything so um, it doesn't come off which is fantastic and again I'm just using some glue to glue that down the page so that's the the finished page apart from the fact that I wanted to outline my um, wings a little bit so I went in with a white pencil around it so this is to below all pencil and the other one was basically the same thing it's just a bit fatter it's um, the children's version it's called a woody three-in-one pencil um, <clears throat> so I'm using the white pencil to go around and then I'm going in with paint pen to do just some dots to sort of sprinkle across the sky I don't know stars or hope or something across just to sort of tie the white onto the page and anchor everything together um, and that's it so I hope you enjoyed this quick little um, video. I love these figures and there's so much you can do with them. And as I've said before and you've seen my channel, I absolutely adore and I'm totally inspired by the very talented Lisa Oxley. So please do check out the links below to see her artwork and how she creates. Um, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Please check out some of my other videos on my channel. If you haven't subscribed or liked, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you again. Thanks for watching.